but because I'm trying not to make the video too long, you know what I'm saying? But you know how I get, I'm here, I'm talking 35 minutes. But I'm, I'm going to go position group by position group, you know. Uh, you know, this spring green recap with Jordan. I ain't going to talk about the other things. You know, but quarterback, like I say, Carson Big, true number one quarterback, which is I figured, you know, fourth year at Georgia, you know, third spring game at Georgia, you know. He he looked like he know what he doing. Like he knew he looked like he know where to go. He looked like he he know how to control the offense and, and, and make rival right receivers and well make players shine, you know. Dude look like, you know, he could be a, a, a first round pick, you know, for this year draft. If you stay healthy. That's the main thing. You gotta stay healthy. I know it's a spring game, but come on, it but like I say, like it Sometimes you can just see, like, when you got a Brock Bowles, when you got Georgia defense to back you up, you got the, the O-line, the, the running backs, and, and the playmakers, the only thing you got to do is just stay healthy and don't turn the ball over. You feel me? Like, like I say, quarterback is more to just have the fastest, you know, the athletic, you know, who got the strongest on, you know, the best accuracy. You know, it's more than that. You know, it's the mental. It's more mental than phys physical attributes. Feel me? So, that's where you got to get out of mental. Because I'm telling you, like, it's, I mean, it's a long way from now. But it's going to be rough going to Tennessee, man. Like, especially if Tennessee, like, a top 15, 20 team, that stadium going to be rocking. You know, if, if Tennessee, a top 15 team, when Georgia come to time, that, that's going to be a big, big test for Carson Big or whoever quarterback there. Hopefully, it'll be Carson Big. Like I said, hopefully, no injuries happen. If it do, he have to miss a game. Hopefully, it be like a scroll team, you know, where I can go out there and play quarterback and we still win by 20 points. Tight Joe, you feel me? But, so quarterback, you know, Carson Big, you know, solidified starter, if healthy, you know. Like I say, it don't matter how good you is. You can't stay healthy. You're not going to play for Curtis Mark. You know, as we've seen with JT Daniels, you know. But, okay. Brock Vandegrill, you know, he's still not where he should be. You know, he still look like he don't know what, like, to fully do. You know, he still looks scared. Like, everything... It's just late. Like, it's a spring game. And like I say, he could very well had he could have very well had a, a better spring than Carson Beck. Like he could have had like way more better practices than Carson Beck, but as far as I know, Carson Beck, the best quarterback on the team from what I seen on Saturday. You know, that's just how it is, you know. We don't I don't know. I'm four hours away from Athens. You know, I don't know what's going on in Athens, you know. I don't have nobody that play for Athens. Like, you know, you feel me? But I'm just going by what I seen Saturday. And and y'all can agree with me, too. Like, Carson Beck look like he, he know what he was doing. He look like he he can get players open. He, he, he know, like, he, I told y'all this a long time ago. I said, if Carson Beck don't transfer, like, his ceiling is Matt Ryan. And, and you know, just so – and I know y'all saying, oh, I got that from top billing. You know, I watch top billing. But I, I've been saying this since, what, 20? When Jamie Newman, I said, since Jamie Newman came to Georgia, I said, Dwayne Mathis or Carson Beck going to transfer. You know, and Dwayne Mathis. Then Brock Vandergrove came. I was like, man, you know, maybe Carson Beck leaves. But I said, he stayed. His ceiling – is Matt Ryan at Boston College. Like, both, both, they look identical. Like, both CS4 around 225. Matt Ryan CS4 225. You know, that, that's just, I ain't saying like the old Matt Ryan. I'm saying like, you know, Boston College Matt Ryan. Boston, Co Boston College Matt Ryan was sneaky athletic. You know, he can move a little bit. You know, Carson Beck can move a little bit. You know, like, he not going to juke you out your shoes like this a minute, but... He he can get eight yards if if needed. You feel me? Like I seen him. I seen him run. 
You ran in a TCU game for like 15 yards, I think. You know, or something like that. But either way, Gunner Stockton, I ain't gonna even talk about Gunner Stockton. I mean, he, he's a sophomore, you know, and, you know, he, he got a long way to go too. But he, he, he got an arm though, he got a cannon. You know, but I ain't, you know, I ain't really worried about quarterback three. I'm gonna worry about quarterback one and two. And Carson Baker on it. Running backs, you no, know, it's not, not too much to be going running backs, you know. Shoot, all of them look good, you know. Shoot, Cash Jones out there breaking Xavier's sore ankles, you know. Cash Jones look like he can play for Kent State right now, you feel me? Like, Cash Jones look like he can start for Vanderbilt at running back. <laughs> you feel me? Cash Jones, you feel me? Well, you know, Savon Clark. Ain't good in that locker room, man. He 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 swole, you know. You know, Branson Robinson didn't play, Kendall Milton didn't play, you know, Dejan Edwards, you know. Hey, yeah, Brian Robinson, man, that's a that's a hey, six foot two thirty five, man. I'm telling y'all, that's gonna that's gonna be scary, man. That's, that's a big dude, like six foot two thirty five, and he can move, like out of about ten tackles. Out of ten times he got tackled, I think maybe eight eight times, he only went back like two times. The rest he was falling forward. That's scary. Against Georgia defense, like against five star linebackers, you know, the high ranking linebackers, he's falling forward more times than not. <laughs> hey, that's a big dude, man. You know, running backs, you know, still loaded. You know, we just, you know. Kenny McIntosh, you know, he was a sneaky good, he was a sneaky underrated back, man. Kenny McIntosh going to be a good fourth round running back, man. I'm telling y'all, like, maybe he even sneak to the third round, but he probably going to go to the fourth round because it's 40 time. But he he moved fast on the field, you know, and he shifted, and he got good hands, you know. So that's really only takeaway about Georgia running backs is we don't have a Kenny McIntosh, James Cook, you know. That can do everything, you know. Like Kenny McIntosh can do everything. Truck you, juke out your shoes, and go up like a rival seal and get it. We don't have that right now. You know, maybe Kenny Milton developing that. Dejan Elvis developing that. You know, I had to see it. You know, rival seal. I was gonna make multiple videos about this, but you know, I don't know who gonna transfer. You know, so I'm gonna wait about a week or two because you. you most likely going to be by two rivals he was transfer, You know, even what it is. You know, maybe Donata Morris and Jackson Meeks or somebody, you know, transfer. But, uh, this, this, Rob C was loaded, man. You, if you got, if we could just get 10 games out of Aaron Smith, we could just get at least 10 games out of Aaron Smith, man. We Carson Beck gunning that thing 65 yards down the field on a rope. We, <laughs> Man, I'm telling y'all, man, we get 10 games out of Aaron Smith, it'll be a miracle. You know, we, we just got to put him on the sideline for the rest of the summer. Like, don't, don't, just let him just, just put him, right, don't, don't let him get hurt, man. You feel me? Then you got dumb, love it. I said, I'm trying not to spoil it about the rival Cephas. You know, because like I said, I was going to make a video about it, you know. But don't let love it, man. I said it against Missouri. Like, if he was draft eligible this year, I, I feel like he would have go second round, you know, late second round. Like he is, he's literally an off brand. Josh Downs, like him and Josh. If you watch him, like the way he's shifty and quick, he's literally an off brand, but a bigger version of Josh Downs. Like he's more thick. He more solid. I ain't gonna say thicker. You know, you know some of y'all, you know, but uh, he's more solid version of Josh Downs. Josh Downs more explosive, but Dominic Love is more sturdy, you feel me? Like, he could take a hit more. You know, and, and I'm telling y'all, man, like, he very well. And so I ain't trying to ruin it, but he could very well end up being a second-round pick this year. You know? And maybe first. I don't know. But, you know, uh, Dylan Bell look good. You know, Robert, I wish I would have seen more out of Robert Thomas. You know, I don't know what to say about Robert Thomas. Maybe he just be... Maybe next year, his year, you know, at the lab, McConkie, and Aaron Smith, and, and all them leave, and Brock Moss. Maybe, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I ain't going to say, maybe next year, you know, it's his year. 
shine. You know, Marcus Roman just sink. You know, he's still here looking good. You know, maybe he stay. I don't know. But, man, we got four good wide receivers, man. You know, Lamb McConkey, Lamb McConkey, he gonna do what he gonna do. You know, Dumb and Love It, he gotta stay healthy. And he gonna shine. We, we, you know, cause that, I'm telling y'all, that quick slant with Carson Beck is money. Like, you can't, Dumb and Love It in a slot. And then, like, <laughs> Lamb McConkey in a slot. With Brock Powers outside. And Aaron Smith on the outside or something. I'm telling y'all, man. Hey. Alright. So we got, like I said, we got four good round receivers. I'm just named four. The top four. You know, in this order. I'm gonna say Aaron Smith. Alright. I mean Dumb Love It. Lab McConkey. Aaron Smith. And Mark and Roman Jackson. In that order. No, them, them in that order. That's four bad round receivers. You know, top four. You know, I gotta like say Aaron Smith gotta stay healthy. You know, but he's the most Dynamic out of the all the Ralph Seagulls because one play for him could could change the game. I mean, it, it, like literally, one play from Amory Smith could change the game. You know, and, and of course, Brock Bowers tight ends gonna do his thing. You know, Lawson looking looking good. You know, he's looking like he's ready to take the next step next year after Brock Bowers leave. Oscar Dip is Oscar Dip. You know, it's his time to shine finally. You know, he waited his turn. Daniel Washington. Looking real good, you know. Pierce Burning, he didn't get played, he was hurt. You know, tight ends looking good. O line, Ernest Green left tackle. You now Maris Mills, he's gonna probably be a top ten pick this year. Well, next draft. You know, it's Van Pran still at center. O line looking good, you know. Left and right guard, it's you know, we don't know yet or fully, but we got the left tackle and right tackle in the center for sure. Defense, you know, Mikael Williams didn't play. Marvin Jones Jr. didn't play. You know, so, but defense, man, it's, tell me, it's, you know, big, I forgot, Big Bear Alexander into the portal. You know, we don't know how they're going to go. Maybe he come back. I don't know. Maybe he just looking to see what other teams got to offer for him. You know, like Texas, you know, or Texas, TCU or somebody. Maybe TCU, you know, or Texas Tech or, or or Texas, you know, offering him the bag or something. Oklahoma, throw the bag at him while he entered the transfer portal. Cause do good. I ain't gonna kidding. I ain't gonna. Oh, he wasn't good. Do good. I thought he was gonna have a good year this year. You know, and, and his junior year was gonna really have a good year. It ain't over, cause you know maybe he could come back. I ain't no telling. You know, Zion Hello, Warren Brinson, Nazir Stackhouse, who may end up being a first round pick. Mm -hmm. You know. Jameer Walthall is still here. <laughs> That's like the Malik Harris on Trayvon Walker situation where you got a, 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 a dude way older, and then you got the younger dude who, who probably going to be a first-round pick, you know, up under him. Or the first pick, I should say. That's my kid Williams. You know, uh, Damon Wilson, man, he looking good. I'm telling you, Damon Wilson looking good, man. He look, hey, Damon Wilson, he looking like his right. Man, he had about three sacks. You know, well, would have been sex, you know. I think he had two, one or two for sure. You know, he was in the backfield a lot. Uh, hey, uh, Smile Money didn't play. You know, inside linebackers, I ain't, you know, that's Smile Money, Xavier Sawyer Jr. With, with DeMont and Jordan Johnson. Like, that, <laughs> that's like Shannon Tindo and Quay Walker and, and Nicole Dean all over again. You know, Xavier Sawyer. He should get way more playing time this year as a third rotating linebacker. Then after they leave, you got Raylan Wilson and CJ Allen. Uh, CJ Allen, bro. I don't, I don't even, I don't know if Troy Boys played. I, I, I can't remember. I think Troy Boys played. I don't know because it's so, it's hard in the spring game to really know, like, because so, it's so many rotations. Like you got dudes you ain't never heard of. Like you got like the, the sixth string walk on playing. You know, DB and, and running back and Riley Seaver. So, you know, it's hard, you know. But, uh, you know, CJ Allen, man, he he looking like he, he ready to play right now. You know, uh, secondary, you no know, Nyla Green, outside. And Kamar Lass is outside. You know, Dalen Avery and Julian Humphrey on the outside. Or uh, Janelle Guerrero, I think I said the name. The dude looking like he ready 
to play right now. You know, you would look around, you ready to play right now. You know, of course, Javon, but look, Malachi stars, you know, I don't, you know, gonna do their thing. Uh, so, it, this team, man, this team real good. Otaki Smith should take that next leap, what, you know, his second year removed from ACL. You know, he should be that guy, you know. Like, he was all American, he was uh, projected to be. But I'm telling y'all, man, this, this team is loaded, man. They just got to stay healthy. They stay healthy. This team is loaded. You know, we get McKay Williams and Marvin Jones joining your back on the outside. Uh, that's going to be scary like that. With Damon Wilson and Mo Pimble. I forgot, I forgot about Samuel Mo Pimple. Dude looking like he ready to play right now. Like, nope. I, I don't, Samuel Mo Pimble looking like he ready to play right now, man. Like him and Damon Wilson. Man, tell me, you know, it's, boy, it's loaded, man. You know, Darius Smith, oh, uh, you know, we didn't have uh, Marlon Jones, you know. Thank Carl Mad and Madden Jr. Uh, I'm trying to see, did Smoke play? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, did my boy Smoke play? I don't know. Like, I don't know what he got going on. Like, I don't know if he going to transfer again. I'm trying to think that I see him. But yeah, I know you know AJ Harris. You know he he like he gonna be good next year. You know this ain't his year, but next year I feel like he he, he you know he already got the swagger and confidence right now. Like dude, feel like he over here celebrating like he been doing this before. You know, but you know, he he missed on some balls. But like I say, that's gonna get better. I mean, dude, talented. But AJ Harris and Dalen Everett. You know them boys like got a future at Georgia. Justin Red played. Don't sound like this smoke play. Cause I, I know I seen, you know, like David Daniels back there, you know, and, and Jacory Thomas. But I'm trying to figure out that my boy smoke play. Cause I didn't see him on the thing. You know, but uh either way, you know, he say, man, I ain't trying to make the video too long. It's already long enough. But Georgia man, I'm telling y'all man, like I ain't this team could very well three peak. I mean we're Ohio State and Alabama. Having a new quarterback, they could very well repeat, man. But let me know what y'all think, man. Hey, man, I'll draft soon, but ready for the draft. But, man, go dogs, man. Let's go. Go dogs.